Welcome back my friends, Domination Tips. I'm reporting back with the next Lots Farm episode. And yes, well, I'm at home and I have a quite bad, quite okay Wi-Fi connection, but the upload rate is quite low. So it needs about three hours to upload this video in the end, I think, and I'm not quite sure whether it will finish because when my handy, uh, when my mobile phone isn't active all the time on YouTube during this, so when I'm using WhatsApp or whatever other application very often the upload crashes and I have to redo it so I'm not quite sure I'm currently farming for some oil yes you're hearing right I'm um, for I don't know one or even two months it's the first time again that I'm farming primarily for oil because I want to get my last research is done you have probably seen my uh, university is quite done completely not complete but most of the researches are done and only some very expensive oil researches are uh, going to be needed. So over here is the leadership chapter, which is quite not that um, expensive with uh, 72,000 of oil. But my nationalism uh, chapter needs 90,000 of oil to get 10% additional bunker uh, bunker uh, HP and that's quite ridiculous. I don't think that I will do this at all. It's a completely pointless and ridiculous research in my in my opinion. Um, but I want to do the heavy whatever, this chapter over here, to get 10% additional Gatling gun health points because I want to try them out in the, get, in the uh, global age at least. And then I can do the uh, peace treaty chapter complete for gold, but gold is no matter in total. So I think I have three, um, two, oil chapters to go and this complete book and then I've done the uh, university completely uh, the library sorry the library completely also in the university I'm researching um, currently again at Yawaja I'm trying to finish it complete I have to do quite some uh, additional 35 researches I saw other people who had about 25 to 30 researches already done very nice I'm also focusing on my artillery damage I already got um, Marmor, um, Marmor chance, 5 of 10, so I can research artillery damage, but it needs 5 people. So I will wait until my air defense gets ready, then I will use um, 3 from this free, uh, 4 freed people to upgrade another tower, and 1 additional people to put it into the university with these guys, which are currently at Leonardo da Vinci in the university hit points research, so that I have 5 people, and then I can research finally my artillery damage. Um, so far for my upgrades, I have currently no people available because I put my two free citizens in the Watcha research and I start farming now again because I'm talking too long again. Oh, I forgot to hit the uh, record button, but now I did. Um, I'm primarily focusing on on gold, like I told, uh, on oil, like I told you. Oh, I lost the plane. I'm so unconcentrated today, guys. I'm primarily focusing on oil and not on oil and uh, not on gold and food. Therefore, I am quite sure we will get um, the also 4.6 million of gold to upgrade one piece of a wall. Uh, but I'm not quite sure whether we will get the 4.6 million of food. Because always when my troops are dying, I also need some food to retrain the troops. And yeah, therefore. I think in the end it will be uh, one, one piece of a wall we upgrade and my research uh, in the library for the heavy, heavy Gatling Gunners. 5,800 oil to go, 764, 40, yes, 66. And I think I'm at 1,100 medals, so um, in 200 or even 1 or 200, I don't know, medals I will have to change. <coughs> from my World War Army, which I have trained currently, <coughs> to my Raider Army. And then let's see whether the loot will be better, because my uh, metal rank is currently too high again. Wow, I'm so unfocused. The Let's Farm episode is just right starting right now, and I have only one plane. <laughs> Ridiculous. Our last world war was also very exciting. The enemies were uh, not a big danger to us, but our exchange player, uh, Global H Max nearly, I don't know his name, Z100, I think, is uh, 
some kind of good player I saw. The enemy bases were all were all quite no uh, no challenge when I have to sum it up, uh, up objectively uh, without any any of my subjective um, opinion in it. But he did quite good on an enemy base which uh, on a maze enemy base which was quite not uh, easy. Um, so it's quite okay. He will uh, remain for one more um, world war at us and then he'll go away again. We are also expecting our Vova to coming back from his old alliance which he is revisiting. Um, but I have to go in the multiplayer. I don't know whether how long my training blessing. 28 minutes only is remaining. So this will be a very short Let's Farm episode. But this is quite good because then I don't have to upload that huge content uh, files of content quite good base too good to farm um, effective I don't want to waste I only have one tactic with me and I don't think that I will get all resources or all of my troops die but we could do I'm now thinking it will be hard but we could do and then start with my raiders yeah probably from rare to come I think from right over here. Wow, I only have one plane. Probably that was not that good idea. I have to drop everything. Otherwise we won't get this base. I also have no protection. Wow, that's bad. Ah. Come on, my plane, where are you? Okay, one mortar is away. Hopefully this next sniper... Come on, kill the sniper tower, my guys, please. Thank you. Wow, now are two mortars firing. That's quite bad. Okay, we have the second mortar slowed down. I don't think that it looks so bad. I think the route of attack we chose was quite good. Nevertheless, the mortars were placed really good. Really, really good. Due to the fact that they are, they had a, spread, a really good spread out. I have now to wait before rallying my troops, because otherwise they will run into the redoubt. There's the redoubt. Now I can rally them on the mortar. Wow, perfectly. Guys, it worked out pretty much better than I accepted. Uh, expected. If we are really lucky over here, we can we have even surviving troops after this battle, and we are nearly complete through this base now. I have to care about my artilleries with this heavy tank. Yes, I got rid of the heavy tank. Nice. Town center is also gone, and I have most of my troops uh, surviving. Sometimes attacks ra uh, run really much bad, really bad. Sometimes they run really good. Oh, I lost two arteries now. What are you doing? What the fuck? Please tell me, artillery. That's so stupid. I even can't protect you with my plane, because otherwise my plane will die. Now, in the end, I will just lose some some artillery yes I lost three completely senseless I don't know why start of the battle was quite good even my plane survived for my plane <laughs> I would have expected the the littlest chances to survive this battle Oh, my plane. Oh, that was stupid. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we are through. We can go already. Wow. Quite good loot. Especially the, uh, the uh, leather. Wow, I like the leather for my oil blessing. Nevertheless, I think I will um, change my army right now. 
Oh, I have many artilleries. I don't know whether to change. No, I don't think. I think I will let my army be the same constellation. That was confusing. <laughs> the first wall piece is already done. Oh, hopefully I have one more general. Oh, I think I have wasted all of them. I did some really huge attacks during the last time I got attacked multiple times. Probably I can show you some some defensive replays. This guy was able to get all of my oil. That was quite hard for me, but he also used everything he had. Planes, tactics, whatever, donated troops. This guy over here was really ridiculous. Look what he used. Even a blessing, I don't know, weapons blessing, yes, weapons blessing, strength of the gladiator, all troops, general. That was some kind of world war attack and he didn't got anything at all. Do I have any more severe attacks over here? This guy was really severe. Really, really, you look, you can see it. Global Age guy, which used everything. He used all of his tactics, planes, generals, and he completely killed me when I got offline with about 4 million, 4.5 million gold, food, and even 95,000 of uh, oil. So he got everything from me. But I revenged on him and got even more. I think I got 500,000 of him. I will make a video about um, Let's Visit Attackers Revenge video, which I already did one. Uh, so there you can see his attack on me and even my attack on him, my revenge on him. Now I think the other attacks were pretty unspectacular. This one was probably strong. And this one was ridiculous. We can look at him. I don't know whether I have watched this attack already. Where is it? Okay, from the bottom side. Obviously, all attackers are currently attacking from the bottom side. From six severe attacks five came from the bottom side that's obvious probably I have to uh, to change my base layout a little bit to put more traps over there because the bottom side seems to be the most attractive side for enemies nice healing cards are crashing right now he also triggered the town center that was perfect Wow, that rally location was really stupid. He got some of my resources, even the oil. But the rally location was also very bad. Okay, now he's just using his planes. In total, this attack was crashed. I would call it crashed. Yeah. Hmm, which piece of wall will I upgrade? I nearly have uh, all of this side of the base done only one piece over here oh that i did not want to do uh, only one piece over here two pieces over here two over here and two over here so i think i will go always sideways um clockwise i think upgrade this piece ah i don't have any citizens free 59 minutes to go i want to use to us uh, to waste uh, at the littlest amount which is possible as crowns so I will wait until the uh, this uh, Lids farm episode is ended and then at the end I will free my citizens with crowns hopefully to spend less than 15 ones and then I will upgrade this part of a wall and when I'm lucky and got enough food also this part we will see I have to go for additional 300 2300 of oil Hopefully we get it for my library research. I would quite not like to get offline with this high amount of resources. Quite okay, but too strong for this little amount of oil. Wow, very, very much of resources. Even the oil is quite not bad. I have to think from where to come. Uh, here are some towers. There is this bed to send my plane in. I think I will come from the left side. From the right side, it's better to send my plane in. Also, the next event is running. And in the next event, you can get the uh, Red Baron over here, which is quite a very strong um, air unit. But you, you have to know how to use it. The Red Baron is an air unit which has a massive amount of XP, um, not XP, health points. Even more health points, I think, the tripled amount of all ordinary um, air units 
but it also has less damage against defenders than ordinary airplanes. So you have to use it wisely and mostly use it only if you use it for defensive buildings instead of defenders. Otherwise you don't use it in an effective way. I could probably do a little, um, yes, a little guide video about this if you want to, if you are interested how uh, to ex explain what the uh, advantages of these planes are because every one of you will get one plane it's uh, these the planes are the first um, ah come on kill the general wow I lost an artillery the Red Baron planes are the first gifts you will uh, get from the uh, current event the first presents you get are always Red Barons My troops are stuck inside the, uh, the barbed wire. Please come out. I will also use my donated troops because of the current event, all of you probably know, uh, we have to spend a lot and therefore it's good to most often waste your donated troops and then request them. You are, help you are helping all of your alliance members by often requesting and even requesting troops from lower ages. Just only call uh, whatever, donate whatever you want. It doesn't matter which age. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Oh, I thought <laughs> I would not be recording like before. This guy is Japanese. I think I've wasted some, uh, I don't know what it's called. Japanese national trade good in the last world war so I think I will go for most stars again and not avoid stars hmm okay still some oil to go 1400 1400 of oil, okay. Ah, my artilleries have trained now. Now my army is quite bigger than before. Also only 650,000 of, of food to go. Let's see whether in World War is everything donated. Otherwise, I have to do it later after this Let's Farm episode. Yes, here's everything donated. These are some uh, donating bugs. These guys have not... Over here, these guys have not... Um, Updated their game, so you can't send them any troops. So the troop, don come on, the troop donations are done for the World War. That's pretty good. Mm, how much time do we have? 14 minutes, perfect. <laughs> nope. Oil, please. Oh, that's quite good. Not much uh, gold, but very much oil. Pretty, pretty much uh, the same base layout like we attacked before but probably with some lower defense buildings. Level 101 industrial guy. This guy obviously is what he looks like. A very low industrial guy. Two artillery is missing. Have I lost two ones or did already die one in this battle? Ah, It's harder to care about uh, <laughs> uh, artillery than to care for kids. Kids are even better. <laughs> more, more unproblematic. Chinese one. Yes, I can use, I can use the uh, national trade code. So kill the town center, quick victory. Clockwise or not clockwise? I think I will go anti-clockwise. It's, is it called anti-clockwise? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the oil is very exposed. Say hello to some looters which are coming. It's, un it's completely impossible to give looters a better opportunity to get your oil. Here even can't be any traps. Just place one troop at the complete opposite side to trigger the town... Uh, the forest defenders and place one looter next to the oil so you have really easy going my troops are splitting up again what are you doing my friends say so i want they want to go for the uh, inside resource buildings so kill the 
Oh, I lost two artilleries again. What the fuck? What are you doing? This is the easiest base layout we have attacked for two weeks and you are losing artilleries again. I think these spike traps are very deadly. Very often I also thought that this is a common British problem because British range fighters have the same range like artilleries. This means very often the artilleries are driving in front of the other troops. If you have another nation where the range troops have not five range, the range fighters are always in front of the artillery. And this means the artillery are not that often driving into some uh, traps. So I think uh, that artilleries are getting triggered or even killed by traps is in common um, a very British problem and not of other nations. I hate this. Ah, oh, Tactics Academy. Connection problems? Please not. Nice, thank you for the oil. Yes, I think we got the oil perfectly. So only focusing for uh, 17, 17 leather we have. That's pretty awesome. That's nearly enough for three... Um, Oil blessings. Let's split this up a little bit better. So five minutes over here. Two minutes. So nearly perfect splitting, I would call it. Nearly perfect. Let's go for the research before anyone comes to steal our oil. 90,000, that's very painful. Gatling gun health wow six days <laughs> insane six days for research i think in global age it will be even more bye bye my oil so in four hours i don't think i will be able to upgrade my napoleon again the last days i was always keeping in a some kind of i don't know i didn't i did never stop i always upgraded one general after another without any uh, break between so my generals are currently at level 18 and Napoleon will be in four hours uh, about level 19 very cool But now I have to do the first break because of the 90,000 uh, Costs for the uh, research of the hit points mm. Event I only will spend uh, donate some black watch because they don't need to train that much Five range he needs five range Okay No, no. Thanks. And now go for the rest of the food. Cool. Three updates done in this Let's Farm episode. So, nevertheless, that I was quite unconcentrated. I think this episode was quite a success in total. Mm, focusing on food now. Wow, very much food. But also good defenses. Shall we try this? It won't be easy at all. Definitely not. Oh, I have no donated troops and I have only some protection spell. No, quite not. Without any sabotage tactics, this is uh, completely suicide. Mm, also sniper tower and two high defensive buildings in total without any tactics. Only four artilleries, no donated. <laughs> Too low. <laughs> oh, come on. We are at 2,000, 1,200 medals. Yeah, yep, that guy is quite good. I like this Enlightenment Age guys. They don't have strong defensive buildings and no sniper towers. Hopefully I can also get them. No, I can't get when I'm in the Global Age. That's one of the pities. Oh, I have to remind myself to remember myself. When I'm outside of this battle, I will go for the Red Baron and analyze his uh, his values to show you why he is sometimes very good, but also very bad if you're using in the wrong way. We have also quite good oil over here, I see. 1,200 of oil. I was not focusing for this. Let's see where most of my troops go. Ah, oh, they're splitting up. So I think I will take this mortar with my planes. Yes, I will kill it. Perfect. It's 
So when my troops on top have done the readout, I will now send them down to get them uh, reassembled. Hopefully this is the right word, reassembling or even uh, re-rally, whatever. Dread Lord Billy. Sorry Billy, I need your resources. It feels very strange. I I I very good. I know very good. I I know the point very good. Where I was completely new to industrial age, and where I thought about how long will this uh, last to get maxed out in the industrial age. And now I'm I am nearly maxed. Not all buildings, but the most of the important buildings, like my stables are maxed, my uh, mortars, cannon towers, my castle, my planes, my troops. I've done nearly all researches in the library, so I, I could call myself on, on a good way to maximum. And now it feels really strange, because I don't know how to handle this. The global age is coming, guys. Like I told you, I think in a... What are they doing? All arteries are driving around all alone. Not your serious. You are not serious. Come on. Kill this tower. So, now get in. So in, in the, at the end of January, I think, I will go for the Global Age, hopefully. I want to max out my, uh, my, gar my, my, whatever, caravans. And I also thought about maxing out my farms. Yeah? Have you rufen? Okay. So come on, please, go for the last defense buildings. Rally over here. Planes, perfect. Okay, thank you. Ah, oh, another leather, very good. I have so much leather now. Enough for three oil blessings, that's enough for the next three days, two days. Leather got pretty much my most valuable resource I recognized before it were diamonds, but because you are very easy able to five star other bases, with high level planes and even upgraded troops. I nearly always, like you see, have too much or too many diamonds. So leather got my pretty much most important or most valuable resource. Uh, okay, I have to get one more tea and one and four more of porcelain. I think Koreans. Yes, I have to kill some more Koreans. Okay, this guy is already this guy is already done. Oh, we have enough for two pieces of walls. Perfect. But I don't want to free my citizens now. Let's see, 17 uh, crowns still. So let's go for some more additional loot which we do quite don't need. No. Oh, one artillery is missing. I have way too much of my black watch. That was my fault. I obviously trained a wrong troop constellation. This guy looks pretty funny. Very low walls. I think I will go for him only for fun for the oil. Let's see, he's Greek. I don't need Greek national trade goods, so I don't want to get for the town center. Um, I will go from over here. Let's do some world war dropping. Ah, oh, or don't know. Healing cards, hello. Lagging, come on. Ah, I again, I messed, I've, I missed the situation. I wanted to show you the Red Baron's uh, values of this guy over here. I'm so confused sometimes. I also have to remind myself, oh, he has very high traps. His traps are industrial maximum. Come on, don't be so laggy, come on. Hello. Wow. Nearly lost one artery now because it's so laggy. I have quite no applications in the background. Nothing, only dominations. 
But when I'm farming too long, I think the device is quite nearly freezing. Kill the towers, please. They are shooting at my planes. Oh, one Mars battery. And he has researched his uh, hit points for his mortars. The mortars survived my attack with the planes. Wow, so laggy. Ah, come on. Please, no traps over there. Wow, here are some traps. And my troops are all... Where to rally them? I think I will rally them quite over here. What the heck? What the heck are you doing? <sighs> they are choosing such an idiot route. But they triggered some traps for me. So my artillery can't drive in them. In these traps. That was quite good. Oh, now I have to care for the last mortars. Come on, my plane. You survive this. Wow, perfect. Ah, come on, my plane. Ooh! No! No! There's a plane crashed. But this plane chose the complete, most stupid way I've ever seen. It flew around this both of the air defenses and then next to the tower. Artificial stupidity. I have only 33 seconds to go. These, these high upgraded traps are really slowing me down. This base looks very crappy and isn't very good in total, but it's also not very bad. The traps are a pain in the ass. But we'll get through. We'll be close, but we'll get through. Yes, there I lost my first artery. Thank you, idiots. Wow. Mm. Keep calm. Oh, very nice. I got a ballista. That's quite cute. That's cute. Let's see this ballista and uh, compare it. To other troops. Here we have two ballistas. 336 of hit points and 355 of damage. Wow, that's really cute. It's nearly half of uh, the industrial age stage. 11, so 12, 12, 20. That's not good. Oh, the training blessing ended. Okay. Uh, no, I want to up to train another troop constellation. There's one artillery missing, so go for this artillery. 15, 15. Nineteen. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so guys, I have to retrain my troops later. I will do this after the video. Now I free my citizens by 15 crowns. That's quite okay, I would call it. So there we have the citizens back. I have perfectly 1,600 crowns and I will upgrade this piece of a wall. Ah, come on connection, don't crash now. And this piece of a wall, perfectly. We have spent everything. Still 1.5 million of gold uh, remaining. Also changing my walls, come on, at my war base layout to get the perfect constellation for the uh, upcoming war in I think two hours. This piece has to go. Where is the next upgraded piece? I don't know. I don't see it. Where is the second one? Over here. There we have the second one. Looks really cool. I like this level 12 walls really much. I don't want to get to level 13. Level 13 looks really awful so perfect 34 minutes one of my um, 
my shorter Let's Farm episodes, guys. If you found it was quite entertaining or even informative, give me some comments below. Share this link or even this video with some of Alliance mates. Tell your friends that, he, uh, that I'm showing some videos and guides at my channel. We'll see you soon. Your Domination Tips.